Vaccines. San Marcos CISD says more than 80% of its staff is vaccinated against COVID-19. KXAN's Jayla Washington takes a look at how a $250 incentive may have played a role among other things. Yeah. All right, little love bugs. Angela Murr is a librarian at Mendez Elementary. My little loves over here, grab your stuff. For her students, she would do anything. Two more minutes and then we'll rotate some. In fact, sure. they were a big motivation for her to get the COVID-19 vaccine, even though she wasn't sure she would. You know, I was actually very hesitant. She says the $250 incentive the district offered employees did help, but information it provided also played a role. We were able to do that and look at the data and look at the research and then make educated decisions. Mendez principal Christina Woody says the district has focused on providing staff with thorough information to help them make their decision. We had some hard conversations that were real. So we had people go before us and we could see that it was safe and we knew it was best for our kiddos. Mendez has the highest COVID-19 vaccination rates among staff throughout the district at 97%. Only two teachers there aren't vaccinated, citing medical reasons. I only feel safer. I feel like uh, we're kind of all in this together. I would have gotten it without the stipend. With more than 1,000 staff members vaccinated district-wide, SMCISD says it won't mandate the vaccine. No, there's no talk of that. <laughs> Morale is up and positivity rates going down. Oh There's no doubt school days are looking brighter. Do you feel like things are lighter these days, starting to feel a little bit more normal? School's kind of getting back to the how it should be, and it's a good place to be. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. Well, San Marcos CISD also recently implemented regular asymptomatic testing back on October 8th. It plans on providing tests to all staff and students every Friday at all campuses for the rest of the semester. San Marcos Consolidated did offer student vaccinations for those who are eligible. The district noted today 80 parents signed up, but only 16 or just 20 percent actually took advantage of the offer. Dallas-based Southwest Airlines will no longer place unvaccinated employees on unpaid leave while the company reviews exemption requests, CNBC reporting that executives at Southwest sent a note to staff members. If requests are still under review after the federal vaccine mandate deadline in December, those unvaccinated employees can stay on the job. But the mask, but the mask, but, but they must follow mask and distant, distance guidelines until their exemption request review is complete. The note added that those who had their request declined could reapply if they submitted new information.